Good morning. Let us now please stand. Let's take this moment to wish each other a good morning and welcome one another to our celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning. Welcome. Today on this Wednesday, we celebrate the memorial of St. Philip Neri. And our opening hymn is Our God is Here. Here in this time, here in this place, here we are standing face to face. Here in our hearts, here in our lives, our God is here. Here for the broken, here for the strong, here in this temple we belong. Here in our hearts, here in our lives, our God is here. And we cry holy, holy, holy are you. We cry holy, holy, holy and true. Amen, we do believe our God is here. Our God is here. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. And relying on the intercession of St. Philip Neri, we now take a moment to call to mind our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You are the Son of Man, Kyrie Eleison. Kyrie Eleison. You teach us to serve others. Christe Eleison. Christe Eleison. You gave your life as a ransom for many. Kyrie Eleison. Kyrie Eleison. <coughs> May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who never ceased to bestow the glory of holiness on the faithful servants you raise up for yourself, graciously grant that the Holy Spirit may kindle in us that fire with which he wonderfully filled the heart of St. Philip Neri. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord always. I shall say it again, rejoice. Your kindness should be known to all. The Lord is near. Have no anxiety at all, but in everything by prayer, petition, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. Then, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guide your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence and if, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. Then the God of peace will be with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. 
Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear and be glad. I will bless, bless the Lord, Lord at, at all times. times. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. I will bless the Lord at, at all times. times. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. I will, I will bless, bless the Lord, Lord at all times. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. I will, I will bless, bless the Lord at all times. Fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for naught is lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for no good thing. I will, I will bless, bless the Lord, Lord at all times. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Remain in my love, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Holy Father, I pray not only for these, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us, and that, and that the world may believe that you sent me. And I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me and that you love them even as you loved me. Father, they are your gift to me. I wish that where I am, they also may be with me, that they may see my glory that you gave me because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and they know that you sent me. I made it known to them your name, and I will make it known that the love with which you loved me may be in them and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we begin the season of ordinary time, we'll begin to see more and more the celebration of the different saints that is to say, those men and women and children and teenagers and all kinds of people who lived out their faith in extraordinary ways, uh, so much so that the church recognizes them to canonize them. So today we have St. Philip Neri. St. Philip was known for his simple joy. As we heard in today's first reading, the letters of the Philippians, 
Paul says to them, brothers and sisters, rejoice. He says, I shall say it again, rejoice. This past Sunday, we heard from Galatians 5 in our reading for Pentecost, that one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit is joy. Pope Francis says that uh, there are certain Christians who live their lives sometimes uh, without joy, who kind of live in a perpetual Lent without the breakthrough of Easter. They don't experience the joy of the Lord. He even goes so far as to describe uh, Christians who live in this way as sourpusses. In, uh, in Spanish, the language that he uses is faces of vinegar. You know, faces of vinegar all the time, walking around, just angry and not joyful and sad all the time. That's not the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is joy. And if we don't have, we don't experience that joy in our lives, the presence of God is being suppressed, suppressed. So as we celebrate St. Philip Neri today, we ask for his prayers, we ask for his intercession. We, we might experience that joy, not a perpetual sorrow or sadness or gloom, but truly the joy of the risen Lord. St. Philip Neri, pray for us. Relying on the intercession of St. Philip, we now present our prayers before our Heavenly Father. Our response, make us true servants, O Lord. Make us true servants, O Lord. That the leaders of the church may be true servants acting with the same concern that Christ showed for, for his followers. Let us pray to the Lord. Make us true servants, O Lord that the leaders of government may exercise their power for good, for the good of the people and avoid discord and distrust. Let us pray to the Lord. Make us true servants, O Lord. That we may realize that success in God's eyes is not measured by the standards of the world, but by the respect we give to our neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Make us true servants, O Lord that those who are sick may realize that their suffering undertaken in union with the suffering of Christ can be turned into a great blessing. Let us pray to the Lord. Make us true servants, O Lord. That the faithful departed may find eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Make us true servants, O Lord. The intentions of this Mass are offered for Sir and Jem Oka and Carito Castillo. We also pray in thanksgiving for the birthday of Benny Himes, for the health of Joan Catherine Bernardino and Paulo Angel Macareg, and for the eternal repose of Francisco Xavier. And now in silence we present to the Lord our own prayers and our own petitions, as well as the prayers of our Ark of Prayer chest. Let us pray to the Lord. Make, Make us true, true servants, O oh Lord. God our Father, through the intercession of St. Philip Neri, help us to live lives of simple joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Humble spirit and contrite heart will be accepted by you, Lord, and our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, we ask that by the example of Saint Philip, we may always give ourselves cheerfully for the glory of your name and the service of our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Philip Neri, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Plenis Uncheli et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, Qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. And 
from history of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Santiago de Compostela, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere en obis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere en obis. Agnus Dei, Tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. the communion antiphon. As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love, says the Lord. The body of Christ. And we now join in prayer with our brothers and sisters praying with us online. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Having fed upon <clears throat> these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that in imitation of Saint Philip, we may always long for that food by which we truly live. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And we turn now to Mary, our mother, as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And to Saint Joseph, hail guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. <clears throat> to you God entrusted his only son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ was secure and safe. Blessed Joseph to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. <clears throat> Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you and all of your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is Christ in Me Arise. <clears throat> Christ in me arise and dispel all the darkness. Christ in me arise with your power and your strength. Christ in me pour out your blessing and healing. Christ in me arise and I shall rise with you. Be now my vision open these eyes showing me all that i must see onward to the kingdom you are the way arise in me and i shall rise with you christ in me arise and dispel all the darkness Christ in me, arise with your power and your strength. Christ in me, pour out your blessing and healing. Christ in me, arise, and I shall rise with you.